First, I want to thank each and every one of you for being such a huge part of our journey of Joe and Amy, or as Jamie as our kids call us. We love you all so much. Second, I would like to thank Mark Zuckerberg for making Facebook possible. And lastly, I would like to thank you. Thank you for being the rock star that you are, for just being you, and for choosing me to share our lives together. Wondering why everyone else shines out for me. But I came to life when I first kissed you The best me has his arms around you Amy, I adore you. You are so kind and so loving. You make life so easy and love so easy. You inspire me in so many ways and have opened my eyes to things and feelings I didn't know were possible by helping me see that even I can enjoy country music sometimes in small doses. Wander in the city street Another face in the crowd, head looking down, lost in the sound of a lonely melody. If I had to describe the perfect man, you nailed it. You're so easy to love and do life with, and as crazy as our life can get at times, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. You have taught me so many things about love and life, how to love and be loved, how to trust, and how to be a better version of myself. You always make each day better than the last. Make the harder days seem so much easier. My sad days happier. You make living worth living for. Today, I finally get to marry my best friend. From the dreams of a beach wedding, then elope into Italy, Wait, Bali, wait, everywhere's closed. After circling the globe and coming all the way back home to a winter wedding in Utah. This doesn't look at all like the different wedding days we've imagined, but it couldn't be any more perfect. It doesn't matter where we stand, it's those same eyes and that same smile and my love for you that is my home. I love that I get to finally hold your hand and call you my wife. Well, next on the list is uh, Joe and Amy and their children are now going to take part in what's called a family unity sand ceremony. Ceremony, each individual is represented by their own unique color of sand. And each separate container represents their lives to this moment in time, individual and unique. And as they combine their sand together, their lives also join together as one family. There's now only one thing left to do. By the power vested in me, by the state of Utah, I now pronounce you officially husband and wife. Joe, you may now kiss your bride. friends with Amy for about 12 years and I, I remember promising her that the man of her dreams would come and there was about a six month period that I didn't hear from Amy so I Facebook stalked her <laughs> and I'm seeing these pictures on beaches and <laughs> like what is going on and I haven't heard from her and then I get this random text I have a person I need you to meet. And she's never done that. So then I Facebook stopped Joe. <laughs> Since meeting Joe, I believe that I'm a better husband, I'm a better friend, I'm a better father, and I think I'm a better man because of what he shows me. 
The thing that I've always appreciated is seeing the way that my dad looks at Amy. From the very first day, he was just enamored by her and you could see it on his face how much he loved her and you could see it when they were in public and how they touched and how they smiled and how they talked. And that was something that I think I could really admire as a daughter and seeing him as a role model. And once I got to know Amy, it was really easy for me to see exactly why he felt that way about her. She is so sweet and she lights up the room and you can communicate with her about anything. And she's always there for you, which is something that I really appreciate and something that I am so happy that my dad gets to experience for the rest of his life. Thank you. 